Hi, I'm Frank Hackett from Retro Barbers. Today I'm going to be bringing you another barber tutorial video and today we're going to be looking at using your clippers and how to improve your gents cuts using your clippers and your clipper attachments. I hope you enjoy the video. So we're going to start on the side area here and generally I like to work from temple to temple. So I'm going to be using a wall magic clip today and I'm also going to be using a number four attachment. So we just clip them in and you'll hear the, you'll hear the attachment clicking in. So it's really important to keep your index finger on your guard also as well. So starting on the clip, starting with your clipper work on the sides, just bring it in under the hair and comb down. So we want to create a nice graduation on the lower part here. I'm not going to take this too high because I don't want to shave it up too high up the hair. We want to be able to blend this in with our scissors work later on. So I'm going in just in under the hair, not with the teeth too pointed in, not too flat. So I've got a 45 degree angle and we're going to fade it off the head. So it's really important not to flick the clippers back because that builds weight. So we want to just graduate it off the head. Side. So I'm probably only going up about halfway really. We're not going up too high. You can take this up higher if you want to, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going up too high. It's important to comb the hair down also, brush away any loose hairs. Start at the bottom, get around the neck area. So we're going up about halfway here. And just fading off the head. And what it does is it gives you a nice graduation. So this is a really nice gents cut, not too short, no skin showing, nice clean finish. So we've completed both sides with our number four attachments and we've just went up roughly about halfway, nice graduation on it. So now I've dropped down to my number three attachments, which is roughly about nine millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my number three attachment just in under my four. So if my four guard goes to here, my three just comes just in underneath it. So I'm just going to use the inside half of my clippers because I just want to make sure that I'm not going up too high. Again, on a real head you'll be able to go around the ear up to the top and then you'll have to come from the other side. So I'm just using the inside of this side of the clippers. So we switch back and forth to the relative side. And just keep making sure you're going against the grain of the hair. So I'm just tapering down the lower side of the cut. Same into the back area here, just tilt the head forward, starting at the bottom and just flicking the clippers out and blending my number three into my number four. It should be a natural blend, so it should blend in nicely. We may be left with a little bit of weight along here and that's okay if we are, we can work that out with a bit of scissors overcome. So we've went over the back and sides with our number four and our number three attachments, creating a little bit of graduation on this lower area here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shape up the outline of the haircut. I like to do this first. It's kind of a personal thing really. Some people do it at the end of the cut. I like to do my clipper work and I like to do my outlines first. So I'm going to use my wall braid detailer again. And I'm going to start at the front area using my left hand to keep the, the razor balanced. And just around the ears. So what we're looking for here is just a nice C shape. Or almost semi circle shape around the ear. A nice arch over the area. Here. Not to go too high, obviously we don't want to go too high into the hairline and you'll have different types of hair then as well. Some people have finer hair and thicker hair. So definitely with finer hair we don't want to go too high. So down through the back area here I'm going to use this as my guideline here and I'm going to follow this back up. And the number three actually took it down quite well so there's not a huge amount to take off and we're just going to give it a little bit more definition. So now we're going to take this weight area down on the back and sides here. So there's a little bit of weight here from our clipper work. So we're going to use some scissors over comb. So I'm going to start in the temple area here and just go in with my comb, turn it out, one, two, three, and comb down. So you don't have to do too much here. All you want to do is just take out that weight. Comb it down and keep, every, keep checking every section. So less is always more. Go back in and check all the time. It's just really dusting off the hair. So you're taking very, very small amounts of hair off. So as we move into the back area, you can use this technique. You can use scissors over comb, but you can also use clipper over comb. So I'm going to use clipper over comb just to show you a little bit of a contrasting way of doing it. So again, I'm back with my magic clip and I have a one attachment on it, but you can also use a half or a zero if you like. Sometimes it's good to use the one because it just gives it an extra bit of graduation. So again, you can see my guideline from this area here the previous, sec previous section and it's the same process as scissors over comb and it also gives it quite a nice finish. Same with the back area here, working from the bottom up 
but exactly the same. A scissor with all nice small sections, working way up through it, comb it down, and back up through it again. Comb it down and check, and keep working until you're happy with it, so that way it is a reader loose. So we'll repeat that across the back of the side. Now we move into the top area. I've created a radial section from ear to ear, and I've also created a section down through the crown area where I'm gonna connect the top into the back area here. So again, nice clean sections. And I'm gonna use the hair underneath as my guideline. So I'm just bringing it out 90 degrees from the head. Nice clean sections. Okay, so divide that section in half. Create my next section. I'm just gonna work off that first section. Nice and clean. And I have my guideline from the previous section. So I'll have my guideline from my previous and I also have my guideline from my work that I've done already with my clippers. So now we move into the top section here. So we're going to just going to work from the back corner, the back left corner, and we're going to work forward, keeping all our section nice and square. And I have my guideline from my, my previous sections. So working it straight up, keeping the sections nice and clean, working forward. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to leave the hair quite long at the front. So as I come to the front area, we're going to over direct. So I work towards the front and we're going to start over directing because I want to keep that length on the front area. So the fringe is going to be kind of swept across to the, to the, the left hand side as I look at it. Okay, I'm going to leave the front area. I'm going to do that from the, as I come around the front area here. So now I need to connect the sides into the top. So I'm taking my fingers out at a 90 degree angle. So I should have a guideline from the hair that I've cut previously with my clippers and also from my sections on top. So we're trying to keep it nice and square shape. Obviously we don't want too much weight building up. So I'm just going to do the fringe area here and just kind of point like this, just bringing it forward. Just keep it a little bit softer. I don't want this too blunt. Working way across the front. So I just sectioned off this top section here. And drop down our next section. Again, you can have, obviously with your consultation stage, you'd be asking the customer what way they want, what way they like to wear the hair, what kind of length they like the fringe at. So we're just going to dry it off and add a little bit of product. Okay, so now we have it all dried off. We're just going to run through the top area just with some point cutting. So this is just to break everything up a little bit and just create a little bit more movement. So I'm just cutting vertically down on my sections, and you can. You can take these sections pretty randomly, it's really freehand. So just take your sections wherever you feel you need to reduce a little bit of weight off the cut. So it's quite thick in a few areas, and these manning heads, the, the hair is quite strong. So again, just cutting down vertically. I like to kind of keep my fingers closer to the scalp so that there's a nice bit of space. So it gives me enough room and enough hair to work with. So really, it's just middle ends and ends we're working on here again. I don't want to go at an angle because it's going to take length, so I'm just going to vertically and we'll just slice down through it. Using your mirror in front here then just to check your weight and your balance and your movement. So now we're just going to apply a little bit of product and we're almost done. So now we're just going to add a little bit of product to the hair. The product I'm going to be using today is Osmo Power Powder. And what this is, is just a texturizing dust. So a lot of lads like to use more of a powder in the hair just to create a little bit of volume. And it just shows off the texture and also the movement in the hair. So just apply a little bit, shake it on. And the good thing about this is that when, when you have it in for a few hours and you kind of move the hair around, you can kind of reactivate it. So it lasts the whole day, gives a really good hold and it's excellent for finer hair. Okay, so that's the end of today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back to you again later in the week with more videos. Thank you.